Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I would like to uh, address all of you here in America and even all of you in other nations. Here just a few days ago we had the presidential election. I know a lot of you are not happy with the way it turned out. I am not really happy with the way it turned out either. I honestly believe that the election was rigged and I really believe that America is in a mess of trouble. If you don't believe me, you need to listen to the Obama 2016 movie. It's called a 2016 Obama's America. And also, if you listen to people like Alex Jones and Jesse Ventura, and shows like Conspiracy Theory Jesse Ventura, you'll find out very interesting stuff. Uh, a lot of the people who they say run our government really don't. It's the secret groups that run it, like the Illuminati and the Bilderbergs. But, <clears throat> our Christian duty, our duty as Christians is, in the Bible, the Lord tells us that we need to pray for our leaders, whether we love them or we hate them. We're not supposed to hate, but, you know, whether you like them or you don't like your leaders, you're supposed to pray for them. It's found in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. Uh, also... Today is the 237th birthday of the United States Marine Corps, Semper Fi, for all you Marines who are watching and Marine Corps veterans. And also tomorrow is Veterans Day, a day that we set aside to remember all of those who have fought in the United States military. I am very proud of all of you who have served. God bless y'all, and I hope and pray that the Lord will bless y'all with many years to be here. I have had the privilege of knowing many veterans from different worlds, different wars, excuse me, all the way back to World War II. Uh, the man who led me to the Lord when I was a kid was a Pearl Harbor survivor, and... I've known many Vietnam veterans, and my grandfather, he was in the Korean War. <clears throat> I don't agree with a lot of the wars America has been in. I don't really agree with the way the war is being handled right now. But it doesn't matter how you feel about the war, you still need to support the troops because they sacrifice everything so we can have the freedoms that we have here in our country. And also, uh, tomorrow will be the anniversary of when World War I ended in 1918, when the Treaty of Versailles was signed. World War I started in 1914 when Archduke Ferdinand was assassinated in Austria. And it was a war that involved Germany, Hungary, France, England... And we eventually got involved, but it wasn't until 1917 after Germany had attacked some of our ships. It was just like World War II where we didn't really want to get in the middle of it, but we ended up being pushed into it. But, uh, yes, things do not look good for America. And, you know, everyone's so worried about everything, you know, about what the future future holds. Let me tell you something, if you know Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, you don't have anything to worry about. Everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. But if you don't know Jesus Christ, my friend, you need to accept Him while there's still time, because the future is going to be pretty bad for you if you don't accept Christ. One of these days, we're all going to die. It doesn't matter how old or how young you are. We're all going to die. Death has no age. <clears throat> and the only way to go to heaven is to accept Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior. If you choose not to accept Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, you're going to go to a place called hell. And it's real, folks. I don't care what people say, it's real. And all of us... You know, talking about the military and everything, all of us are in one of two armies. We're either in the army of God, or we're in the army of the devil. No one's exempted. Everybody in the world is in one of the two armies. 
And all of the world's problems boils down to one thing, and that is God and Satan battling over the souls of mankind. That's what I always tell people, and especially, you know, my friends, when we have our political discussions and everything, usually once or twice each week, you know, I usually bring that point up, just as a reminder. But if you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it is as simple as ABC. Accept, believe, and confess. Romans 10.13 says, If whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. I'm going to pray a prayer. And if you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, Lord's leading you to do that, you just repeat this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Please forgive me. Come into my heart and my life today as Savior and Lord. I believe you died on the cross for my sins and you shed the blood, rose the third day, and that you're coming back soon so I can have everlasting life with you. <clears throat> Lord, I ask you'll forgive me of everything I've ever done in my life that wasn't pleasing to you. And I ask that you will live in my heart with me forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. And if you prayed that prayer, and if you really meant it, you are now in the kingdom, in the body of Christ. And I'd encourage you to get involved in church and get around other fellow believers and to be baptized. Baptism won't save you. Good works won't save you. And being good won't save you. Only the precious blood of Jesus Christ can save you. John 14, 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. The choice is yours. And I'm hoping that you will be wise and make the right choice to follow Christ before it's too late. Have a good night, everyone, and may God bless America and the world.